9 billion farm animals kept in horrific captive conditions in this country. And all we need to do to end it is for consumers to stop eating them. So if you love animals, don't eat them, don't wear them. Leather is very cruel. There are videos of how leather is produced that would uh, make you faint from the cruelty. So if you love animals, don't eat them, don't wear them, don't buy products that are tested on animals. Those are the three main things. The mothers and babies were taken from them at birth and killed for new meat. They were strung up and their throats were cut. There's absolutely nothing humane about slaughtering an animal, no matter how you do it. It's not food. It's, it's violence. violence. It's, it's not, not food. food. It's, it's violence. violence. The purpose of life is to get through it with the least suffering, with creating the least suffering. This is what the great thinkers have always said, and I agree with them. We have to consume to survive, but we don't have to kill. I can say every day I put my head on my pillow, I go to sleep, no matter what else I did, I didn't kill today because I didn't eat meat, I didn't buy leather, I didn't buy a product that was tested on animals, and so uh, I'm not killing. There is no such thing as free range chickens that come from a factory farm. It's not food, it's violence. We need you to join us in this campaign out of compassion for sentient beings, animals that deserve the same protection that all of us share and that all of us give to the dogs and cats that we love. Cows, pigs, chickens, goats, turkeys, fish are entitled to that same protection and we are here to speak on their behalf please join us this is a worldwide campaign I couldn't believe that we live in a world that would keep pigs in crates the size of their bodies, never able to turn around, that would cut the tails off of cows with anesthesia, that would rip the testicles out of baby pigs without anesthesia, that would uh, cut off the beaks of uh, little hens. Just what kind of monstrosity have we created with this industrial farming system? So. If you want to help animals, the most important thing is not to eat them. That is the absolute number one thing you can do. And stop eating other sentient beings just for a taste pleasure that has no nutritional value in their own. It isn't necessary to sustain life. It simply is not necessary. We do it only for one reason, because it tastes good. me, well, you care about animals, why don't you care about people? I say, I care about animals because I care about people. Because if you want to end world hunger, the best way to do that is to stop eating animals. And then you could take all the grain and all the food that you feed 9 billion animals and distribute it equitably around the world, you'd end world hunger today. I have been a vegan for 19 years and a vegetarian prior to that, and uh, I'm doing fine. I'm not starving. I don't have any health problems. You don't need to eat animals. You don't need to drink milk. In fact, it's bad for you. Uh, the China study and other studies have shown that the best way to ensure longevity, reduce the risk of cancer, uh, have better health, uh, reduce uh, cholesterol, is to eat a plant-based diet. So that's the key. It's not food. It's violence. Pigs have a higher IQ than dogs, and there's billions of them suffering right now in gestation crates the size of their bodies, never able to turn around. Got it.
we have to practice peace. A lot of people think peace is far away, somewhere far, far away. No, peace is right here. As the famous philosopher Thich Nhat Hanh said, peace is everything we do throughout the course of the day and every step we make. And I like to say peace begins on our plate. I was talking to a woman who was telling me all about peace and she was working with the United Nations and I met her for lunch and she had ordered before I arrived. And uh, when I got there, I sat down and her plate was delivered. She started telling me about all her work for peace. And uh, it turned out she had a piece of meat on her plate that was rare and there was blood swimming in her plate. And I said, you know, I have to stop you. I'm having a little disconnect. You're talking to me about peace, but there's blood on your plate. You can't talk about peace when there's blood on your plate. And it stopped her right in her tracks. And she said, oh, uh, well, now I feel guilty about what I ordered. I said, it's not for me to make you feel guilty. But what I am pointing out is that if you want to have peace and you're telling other people around the world to be peaceful, why don't you try being peaceful by not killing every day?